Warlifts are a simple concept at the service, but can also be very complex. When done correctly, lifts can achieve almost any task in Vex. There are many different types of bar lifts that are used in Vex, such as the 4-bar, the double reverse 4-bar, and the scissor lift. Lifts are commonly used to lift up instruments that manipulate game objects. To start things off, we will be talking about the simple 4-bar lift. The 4-bar lift is an easy and reliable build. This lift is simply just four bars attached in pairs that are parallel to each other. By having all of the bars parallel, it allows you to keep the far side at the same vertical angle. It can be good for starting teams because it is fairly easy to build and it's not that complex. It is powered by a gear attached to a piece of seat channel, and then all of that is powered by a pinion that is screwed into a motor. Some downsides to the 4 bar is that it has to lift outwards and may not actually be able to reach that high depending on how big you make it. Another upside is that you can make it a 6 bar or even an 8 bar by extending the uppermost bar then repeating the same parallel structure as you did on the bottom. This lift can be called the opposite of a scissor lift. It is reliable, simple, and is also much easier to build. And if you're not getting enough height with a 4 bar, why don't you try a double reverse 4 bar? It's like a 4 bar, but basically one goes up. Fortunately, we did not have the time nor materials to actually build one, so we've decided to build a model out of LEGO instead. Double reverse 4 bars are made out of two 4 bars connected by gears to lift each 4 bar in opposite directions from another. This is usually done with a smaller gear to two bigger gears driven by a torque motor. This provides enough torque to lift all your weight that you're going to be carrying with the double reverse 4 bar, including the bar itself. Some downsides to the double reverse 4 bar is that as it goes up, your center of gravity goes up as well, which means tipping. Another downside to it is that if you misalign something like a gear or a piece of C channel, it's going to go diagonal instead of straight up, and that could mess up a lot of things. But besides that, the only other real downside is that it's pretty heavy to build and you lose a lot of maneuverability with it. Some upsides with building a double reverse 4 bar are that you can reach insane heights that other lifts couldn't even touch. Another benefit is motor distribution. With V5, it has become a lot easier to power a double reverse 4 bar with fewer motors. They can be powered with 1-2 to two motors depending on what kind of weight you're looking to lift, which makes them very versatile and easy to incorporate with your build if you have the space to do so. And... If you want to do something different, try the scissor lift. The scissor lift is made by repeating the same scissor-like pattern until you have enough height. In this case, I used three scissors to get the height I wanted. It lifts up vertically, just like a double reverse 4 bar. When attached to the chassis, it has one pivot point and one part that will slide. Unfortunately, we did not have any slides to demonstrate how this works. but. You can use the linear sliding kit from VEX to make a pivot point and a sliding point. By mounting a gear, preferably a high strength 84 tooth, and attaching a smaller gear like a 12 tooth gear for more torque, which is attached to a motor, preferably a torque motor, to drive the lift upwards. This provides the force needed to lift the scissor mechanisms upwards, or you can use rack gears and a motor like the VEX example shown here. The pros of a scissor lift is that it is more balanced than double reverse 4 bars, and it can make a very good wall bot because it can cover a lot of area. The cons are that if it's built wrong, it can bend the metal you're using, and if a gear or a piece of C-channel is misaligned, it can cause even more problems such as tipping or causing the robot to be very unbalanced. The higher the lift rises, the higher the center of gravity is, and that will cause the lift to become unbalanced and possibly tip. If the lift compresses too much, it will become harder for it to raise the scissor mechanisms. So because of these reasons, I recommend using the double reverse 4 bar instead of a scissor lift if you're wanting to lift something up vertically. In my opinion, the scissor lift is better used on wall bots because it can extend outwards, covering a large amount of space. We would recommend staying away from using scissor lifts and double reverse 4 bars if you're a beginner, unless necessary, of course. Otherwise, we would recommend sticking to the 4 bar lift because of its simplicity and reliability. 
But remember that these are our opinions, designs, and concepts of these lifts, and that they can vary between teams and schools. For example, some schools may be able to apply a scissor lift a lot better than what our school has seen or experienced.